Hey guys, Bubble Pop Kids here, get ready for a table full of new squishy stuff. Oh yeah. Bubble love like new squishy egg. Ugh. Welcome back to my squishy chopping vlog, although today we are not squishy chopping, we're just squishing this new stuff here. So many cute things, I got a squishy egg, ooh I've never seen one of these. Tons of little slimes, we even have gak. Super stretch. Hey look, rock and red and hello yellow. Ooh. I am super excited about that gak. I do have to say, I feel like gak is like the original slime. I've been playing with it for years. They've been selling it for like ever. And I got four amazing new colors. We have goo green. What is this one? Ooh, outrageous orange. It took me about two weeks to gather all this stuff together. Some of it is from a friend, some of it I found. But look at this thing. It is a block. It's called monkey foam. Bubble, why is it called monkey foam? It's like purple and bumpy. So weird. I'm especially excited for the next two things. Oh, I cannot wait to show you these. I haven't even opened them myself. We have two cans of soda slime. This is actually scented slime. Look at that in a soda can. Grapefruit soda. Amazing. Oh, the other one is like, what is it? Chilong Cider. What is Chilong Cider? It's clear. So cool. There's a second little soda can slime on my table is Chilong Cider. I don't know what that is. I've never tried it. I'm guessing it's like a Japanese sweet drink or like a soda. But look how clear that is. That looks amazing. I'm gonna check those out. The last and final one we're gonna be looking at is, I don't know, this one makes me a little nervous, you guys. It's got a warning sign, and I can't even read it. I don't know what the warning is. Probably don't eat, something like that. It is Japanese putty slime. Colleen picked it up for me in Tokyo, and it is, ooh, it looks like it's silver. We could get gold, purple. Buddy Bubba, enough with the chit chat. Get you the squishing. Lots of stuff here. Start with your little eggy. Okay. Out of you little squishy teenies, there is no time to waste. We got lots of good stuff on here. The only one I am super familiar with is the Gak, but these look like cute little star containers. They're gonna be a little bit diff, and we're gonna check out the rest of it. Let's do this. Gak, warning, watch out, Bubba. This one looks dangerous. Open with caution. And it looks like we're kicking it off with this little Japanese putty tin. Now, I just feel so bad I cannot read any of this. And the warning sign is a little bit scary, but I don't think this is too dangerous. It's for kids, it's putty. Let's take a look. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> look how pretty that is. I did not expect it to be so, like, silvery. Whoa. Uh, why is it in plastic? Like, we can't even squish on it. What's going on? This looks even better than I thought. I mean, the only way to describe it, it looks like clear liquid glass putty with tons of golden or silvery sparkles. It's beautiful and it's kind of weird. It's in like a little bag. I guess so it doesn't dry out. Take a look at this stuff. Ugh, can't wait. Ooh, putty. Definitely not slime. is the best. It is the most puttiest and the sparkliest. So soft. Stuff is so soothing. You guys, this is so pretty to look at. It has such a cool texture on it. Oh, I cannot even describe it. It's like the original Silly Putty, except it's clear and it's beautiful. It's so, so spark. Look at that. It kind of breaks apart a little bit, but when you squish on it, I literally am falling asleep. Let me give it a little poke and see if we could do that. Oh yeah, you could definitely poke at it. It just feels, I don't know, like a mix between a Play-Doh and a slime. It's so, so cool. You know what it really feels like? Sometimes the balm, like the gel you put in your hair, it feels like that. It feels like hair balm. Just look how cool this is. I mean, when I first saw it through the bag, I thought it was gonna be clear. No way, it's got this golden sheer kind of shine to it. It has the best feeling. You could twist it. I love the sound it makes. Ooh, I'm like obsessed with this stuff. 
so cool. Really doesn't get cooler than this. Like, it really doesn't. No way. No way. Now with squishy thing number one, the Japanese golden putty. This was so beautiful. It was pretty. It was really cool to squish on. I just loved everything about it. And it's a super good piece too. This little tin, I don't know if you can tell. It's kind of big. Hey everybody, we got squishy thing number two. Some monkey foam. A big old block of it. I don't know why it's called monkey foam, but it looks like foam or kinetic foam. And it is such a cool color. It's like a great purple. Let's open it. Kind of strange packaging. We had a plastic, and then we get this one wrapped in plastic. Just coming on with this thing. Ooh, whoa. Ooh, it's so pretty. You know, it almost looks like stone, like some kind of beach pebble. Looks so good. crunchy. Listen to the crunch. Oh, love it. Bubble, the crunch on it is like ridiculously satisfying sounding. Listen to it. Not much to say about this stuff. I mean, it speaks for itself. Just listen to it. Just listen to me crunch on it. It's so soft. It sounds like you're stepping on leaves, like in the fall, like little leaves. You can mold it. Ooh, it's like molding. To tell you the truth, I like it a little bit more than the kinetic one. It's a little more like crunchy and more foamy. Not so sticky. This monkey foam doesn't just feel amazing. I mean, it looks amazing. It looks like little grapes. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's such a pretty purple. It's really, really cute. There you go, another amazing squishy, so, so much different than the first one, different texture, but still super squishable and crunchy and filmy. Loved it. Please, is this like little Gita Thomas' brother or something? He's funny. Yes, squishy eggy, and I've had tons of squishy eggs before. I've chopped some up, I've squished some, but I've never seen one like this because it looks so real. It just looks like a real fried egg. Looks like a sunny side up. And look at that little guy. He so reminds me of Gudetama. I don't know why. He just doesn't look as lazy. He looks like he's wide awake. Whoa. Mm. Bubble, Bubble, look at this. I'm poking the yolk, and my finger's not getting all yellow and runny. So cool. Weird. This is kind of weird, you guys, because this looks so real. It looks like a sunny side up from, like, IHOP or something like that. And look at the stretch on it. Ooh. Tempted to chop it, but I can't because I'll never get another one. This is from Tokyo. Straight from Tokyo. Who knows what they're gonna think of next with all these squishy things. I love the food ones though. They are so so cute and this is so slimy. It sticks to your finger but it doesn't make it dirty. It's almost like a solid slime. Squish on it and goes back to normal. Look at that. 
Looks like Pip and Eggie is on the menu for dinner tonight. A squishy one. A rubbery one. <laughs> Finally, I've been waiting to open these cute little soda slimes forever. I've had them for a couple weeks now, and the moment is here. Just look at them. And you may think that they're kind of tiny. They are big, probably half the size of like a regular Coke or Pepsi. And they are just too adorable. As far as adorable goes, these are the winners of the show. Bella, why don't you start with the sun kissed, sparkling, grapefruit soda slime? It looks delish and refreshing. Open it. It is time to pop the top on the soda can and see what's going on in here. Oh, so cool. And it does look like a grapefruit juice color. Almost like Hawaiian punch or something like that. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> this is... Oh, let me finish your sentence. This is the most awesome slime ever. I mean, look at the clarity. It's like clear pink and gooey. And... Mmm, smells like grapefruits. Ooh, I actually forgot about that part. It is scented, you guys. Oh, the second I pop this little top, look how cute that is. <gasps> it smells like grapefruit soda. I mean, it smells like a fizzy soda with a grapefruit in it. Really, really amazed. If I can just get this out of this little bottle. Look at that. That is so, so cool. Come on. That half big piece. Look at this. Come on, Bubba. We got to get the rest. We have to squish the whole piece at the same time. All this grapefruit soda slime. Come on. Look at that. The can is empty. Look at that. All that color was coming from this beautiful squishy slime. Look at that. It is perfect. Oh, are you joking? Of course it's perfect. Look at the texture, and it smells like soda. The best. I was going crazy over that sparkle putty and the flume, but I mean, nothing beats this stuff, you guys. It is so, so crazy. Best texture. Sometimes I've had these slimes where they've kind of like broken apart like little jelly pieces, but this is so super stretch and it's so clear. It's got such a cool color. It's kind of hard to make a slime like that. Love it. The sparkling grapefruit soda, scented delish slime. I mean, I have never smelled a slime that was so, so sweet. Moving on to some Chilong cider. Bubble, it is like pure clear, caffeine free. Is it soda or like juice? Open it. <laughs> Judging by the look of it, it's probably gonna be the same exact slime as that, which ugh, I don't mind. I mean, it smells so good. It's such a big piece, such a cute little container. This is gonna be the clear version. I wonder what it smells like though. Ooh, <laughs> it smells like Sprite or 7-Up. Ooh, it must be like a citrusy drink. Look at how clear that is. It looks like a jellyfish or some kind of like, just looks like water. Oh, it's so ultra clear, I almost can't see it. It is invisible slime. Let's pop it out of here, cider. <laughs> little beautiful slimy get out of this thing oh and I do not want to mix it up with the pink it's got to stay clear like this because it is just so cool looking almost got it oh no baby you got a jellyfish ah! 
look how unbelievable this stuff is. Ooh, it's so, so cool. I tried to make clear slime like this. I've tried it maybe like a dozen times. It is not too easy because once you put in the borax or like the liquid starch, it gets a little bit cloudy. How did they make this? And it smells like they put some spray. Oh, it smells just like soda. Look at that. This is literally like you had some spray and it dried up and turned into like liquid gel. Smells so lemon limey. Get enough of it. I could just look at it all day and just twirl it, poke at it. It is oh, it's the best. I mean, I think they're both exactly the same. I like the pink a little bit more just because it has a little pop of color, but this is just as good. Oh no, don't start mixing. Look at them, they're trying to touch. I gotta keep these babies separate. They are so pretty on their own. I don't wanna mix them up. So cool. The time sure flies when you are squishing with all these cute little slimies. We are on to the final two and we got four little stars of Gak Super Stretch. These are gonna be good. Bubble, why are the Gak Super Stretch in like little star shapes? What is like up with that? Better follow the directions. Like, third it, stretch it, bubble it. You got it? Fresh out of the package and straight to my shopping block, we got some Nickelodeon Gak. And I love these, they are so super awesome. They put them in like these little star shapes. The yellow is my favorite, it's like popping out at me. It's like mustard. We get this green, orange, and the red is super cool. Very rare to see a red slime or flarp. Let's open them. stuff right here is what I'm talking about. I am always looking for something that is stretchy and kind of has this like paint look to it. It almost looks like a paint. I found it. It is Gak. That is so, so cool. It's kind of weird because it's not clear and it's shiny. It's almost like Flarp, really. It's almost like Flarp, but just a little bit stretchier. Look at that. Let's test out this Nickelodeon red. Let's see. Ooh. was just as amazing as the orange. Ooh, this is the original Gak, the original Nickelodeon slime color. You gotta love it. Ooh, so bright. I am loving this stuff. I have had Gak for years. I've had it and I've never seen such a stretchy one. So I think this is like a new formula because this is not the old Gak that I'm used to. This stuff is amazing. Look at the stretch. Ugh, I love that. Ooh, looks like better. Anybody in the mood for some butter slime? Because that's what this looks like. Oh, this is like the perfect texture butter slime. It's so crazy and smooth. Spread this on my toast. Oh, I could stretch it all day. It's like a pizza dough. And then it pops. Oh, 
this one right here reminds me of Shrek. I don't know why. Maybe like Shrek boogers or something. Ugh. Bubba, I'm gonna cover your camera with this orange gack. Watch out. I tested these stretchy babies out and I love them. They are kind of tiny pieces, but they do the job. I mean, they stretch for days. You could keep stretching on them. Hours of fun with this. I could just play with this all day when I'm bored. That is a wrap. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Another little episode of Squishy Stuff. So many crazy things here. I mean, if you love Squishy, how could you go wrong with these? You got the soda slime, we got the foam, gack, and I love the sparkle on this one. So pretty. I always have to pick a favorite and for sure the soda slime are the winners. These are the cutest ones I've ever seen. Oh, they smell so good. Very good quality. And I'd love it for you guys to leave me a comment and let me know out of all these things. What was your fave? Stay tuned everybody because we are going to have so many more fun videos coming up on the show. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, you can just click this big yellow bubble with the bubblegum machine and subscribe. Have a great day you guys. Bye.